dear students now we are going to discuss how to draw a parabola in autocad software okay we are going to follow eccentricity method see in this problem they are given your eccentricity as 4 by 3 so whenever your e value is greater than 1 we have to draw your hyperbola then they are given the distance between your fixed point and your direct axis is 35 mm okay here they asked you to draw a tangent normal at 55 mm from the fixed straight line your fixed straight line is nothing but your directrix line okay so your tangent point should be 55 mm from your directrix line okay so we know your formula e is equal to vf by ov that is equal to 4 by 3 your another formula ov plus vf is equal to focus distance by using these two formulas i have found out your distance between your directrix line and your vertex point as 15 mm and your vertex point to your focus point is 20 mm okay First, I have to draw your directrix line D, D dash, okay. So, first I just clicked your line, I made my first click over here and I move towards your Y direction, okay. That is your vertical direction. See, I have an inclined line. So, I have to switch on your ortho, then only I will be getting your straight line. For switching on your ortho, we are going to press F8. So, you can see we will be getting only a straight line. I will be just making a second click. Then I just press your escape. Once again, next I have to draw your major axis line for that i'll be just clicking your line button and i'll be moving towards your, on your line which has been already drawn when i move over here at the midpoint your symbol will be changing into a triangle at that point i'll be making a click and i'll moving to your horizontal direction that is your x direction and i'll be making my next click and escape okay next i have to mark your focus point that is 35 mm so it should be legible so for that i'm going to use your line thickness okay thick line for that i have just clicked your by layer over here click your line weight settings see to that this checkbox display line weight checkbox should be checked in okay then click okay then i have selected your 0.35 mm 0.35 mm line once again i just click your line i made my first point over here move on your x direction that is your horizontal direction enter your dimension as 35 and press enter then escape now you got your focus point this is your focus point okay the end of this dark line is your focus point once again i have changing your line thickness to your by layer okay next uh, from focus point your v has been 20 mm okay so i just clicked your line i just selected your focus point i move towards your x direction i've entered 20 once again i move to your y direction i have entered 20 and escape next i have to draw my ray line for drawing your ray line i have to just click over here on your draw your fourth command is your ray line. I've just clicked it. I just first selected this point and then I've selected this point and press escape. Now I got my ray line. Okay. Next, what I am going to do is I am going to trim your ray line which has been above your border. Okay. So I just clicked your trim. I just click this point and this point. So now you can see the ray line has been within your border. Okay. Then escape. Once again, I am going to zoom your window. Z is your shortcut for your zoom. Enter your A enter so the, now your entire window has been zoomed the next i have to offset this vertical line okay i'm going to offset eight vertical lines for that i'm going to type your command offset o double f s e t enter it will be asking your offset distance it is 10 enter i just click this line move your mouse to your right hand side i just made a click so this is my first line i'm going to select your first line once again i move to your next uh, right hand side direction i'll be making a click so i got your second similarly i'm going to repeat for your eight lines so already we have completed two lines third line fourth line fifth line sixth line seventh line eighth line okay after your eight lines has been offset just click your escape button okay now i have to extend this line to your ray line for that i'm going to use your command ex it's a shortcut for your extend i just typed ex enter i'm going to just select the line okay automatically it will be extending till your ray line can you able to see i've just clicked your line automatically it will be extending okay so after extending your line just press your escape button okay now we need to measure this dimension then only we can draw your circle for that we have been already familiar i'm going to just click your measure can you able to see over here i just click your measure i just placed your on your mouse over here okay you can see your first line is 33.33 your next is 46.67 okay your first is 33.33 your next is 46.67 okay your next is 60 
your next line is 60 your next line is 73.33 I just moved it over here so your next line is 86.67 your next line is 100 then I moved over here your next line is 113.33 and your last line is 126.67 I just noted down so after noting all your dimensions I am going to start your circle ok for that what I am going to do is I just pressed your escape so that all your measurements will be noted now I just click your circle I have selected my focus point I have selected my focus point as your center what is the first radius it is 33.33 enter ok once again I have just click your circle I have selected your focus point ok my next radius is 46.67 so I just entered it as 46.67 entered ok once again, I have just clicked your circle. I have selected your center as your focus point. Your next radius is 60. Enter. Once again, click your circle. Click your focus point as your center. Your next radius is 73.33. Enter. Once again, click your circle. Click your focus point as your center. Your next radius is 86.67. Enter. Once again, circle. Enter. Center point is your focus point. Your next radius is 100 mm just entered your next once again click your circle click your focus point just move it your next radius is 113.33 enter ok so your last one once again click your circle click your focus point as your center your last is 126.67 ok now we entered your we have drawn your circles next I am going to just break it using your break command then only I can get your arcs ok I will be just zooming your shortcut for your break command is BR enter I have just made your first click over here and I have just made your second click over here once again I will be zooming by using your center roll ok and I will be selecting your second next point can you able to see I have just zoomed it ok so your BR is your shortcut command break enter I have just selected my first point and second point ok using your center uh, roller you can roll it using your center roller you can roll it and you can zoom it ok so once again your break enter I have selected your first point and second point once again break enter select your first point and second point once again break enter select your first point and second point similarly repeat it for your other three circles so break enter first point second point break enter first point second point your last break enter first point and second point see students now I completed your all your circles has been cutted into an arcs ok now I have to join it with your spline command ok so for that I am going to use your command spline spline your shortcut is spl ok enter ok I will be zooming see first point so whenever you are having your arc you have to just check for your intersection point ok I just click my second point I will be just zooming it ok I have using your center roller only to zoom then only I can get your intersection points clearly ok so see here it is your intersection point can you see you have to zoom it students you have to check for your intersection points only ok I just made my second point I am zooming it third point fourth point fifth point sixth point seventh point this is your last point eight ok just give enter so you can see I have just offset uh, I have just joined your using your spline ok next uh, zoom Z is your shortcut enter A enter now I, ha now I have to mirror your entire part ok first I have just made a mouse click over here and I moved dragged your mouse see to that all your lines are selected see this line has been not selected and this inclined line has been not selected so I just clicked it now everything has been selected I just clicked your mirror it will be asking your first point of your mirror this is your first point and this will be your second point and it will be asking you to erase your source object we are going to enter as N 
type your keyboard n and just press your enter now you can see your hyperbola curve has been drawn okay next what they asked us to draw they asked us to draw your tangent point should be at 55 mm from your directrix line okay so what i am going to do is i am going to just click your line i just selected this point and move to your x direction 55 okay i have just typed as 55 enter and i move to your vertical direction okay so you can see this point has been automatically intersecting with your 55 mm okay so what i am going to do is i am going to join i am going to select this point as your point for your tangent point i have just made a line click over here okay then i will be joined to your focus can you able to see i just joined with your focus okay next i have to draw a 90 degree line for this line i have just clicked your line i just clicked your point over here on your directrix line d d dash okay right click go for your o snap overrides enter it as perpendicular okay and i'll be making over here only i'll be getting your perpendicular line i just made it for your perpendicular okay you can able to check over here your dimensions also just click over here for angular and check the dimension between these two lines it will be 90 degree okay then press escape select the line click your move and it will be asking for your base point just zoom it and select this as your base point and just move it and place it over here okay now you can see it has been over your directrix line just click your trim just click the extended part it will be trimmed then press your escape once again your line button click a point over here okay and it will be asking first click okay then press escape okay now we have drawn your tangent but we have to extend your tangent line okay for that you are going to use your command ex as your shortcut enter your extend you just selected this line okay see now it has been extended okay next we are going to draw your normal line once again i have just clicked your line i have made a click over here okay i will be right click go for your o snap override select perpendicular and see it indicates your perpendicular can you able to see this is your perpendicular line just i press your escape okay next i am going to zoom this area okay for that i am going to zoom z enter i need a window window okay just i have zoomed only this part okay now i am going to zoom this move this line i want to just select move click the line click your move it will be asking for your base point this is my base point and i am going to move it over here okay now i am going to just mirror your tangent line sorry i am going to mirror your normal line with respect to your tangent line just click your mirror select your normal line press enter and it will be asking your first point of your mirror line okay so i'll be just making a click over here and once again your ortho should be off so press your f8 okay i'll be selecting your second point over here now you can see your mirror line has been offsetted it will be asking you to source erase your source object you just click n no over here okay now we have drawn your tangent normal uh, and uh, to your curve so just select your tangent line select your normal line okay then select your curve i just select uh, then change your thickness as 0.35 okay next we have to mark your dimension see students here they asked you to measure your we have to mark your dimensions for that we are going to use your dim style before starting your dimension we are going to check your dim style okay i am going to type on your command bar dim style enter click modify over here in this symbols and arrow tab change your arrow size as 4 once again click your text tab change your text height as 5 and click your primary units set as 0.00 and click okay okay see students normally for an ellipse parabola hyperbola we will be marking only the distance between your directrix line and your vertex and your directrix line to your focus okay but over here we are going to mark another one dimension also because they are told that your fixed straight line uh, and tangent normal is at 55 mm okay for that first i have to mark your vertex point so i just clicked your linear over here 
cos point and this is my vertex point your dimension is 15 ok once again click your linear click your point click your point and your dimension is 35 ok so I am going to mark for your uh, tangent point once again click your linear ok zoom it this is your point ok click it ok we have not selected it properly ok just click your linear select your line ok then make it as such so it has been 55 if you have not selected properly also you won't get your proper dimension ok so at last I have just zoomed your window now you can see we have drawn an hyperbola and we have marked your dimensions for your vertex point focus point as well as your tangent normal point ok thank you all for your listening we can meet on your next lecture thank you